Morning everyone. Welcome to Cultus Lake Park and actually Teapot Hill, or at least almost at the summit of Teapot Hill. Just myself, Mickey and Finch are at home, largely because it still gets pretty cold at night and the furnace runs all the time, so we were also worried about just keeping the van warm enough for Finch, believe it or not. So I came out, uh, came out yesterday, I called it sort of a 30 minute trip. I wanted to see how fast I could put things together and then get away in our van, and uh, that was about it, about 30 minutes. I meant I forgot a couple things, but not much. <laughs> Weather was nice, decent drive. A little chilly. Maybe nine degrees right now here. A little bit of snow when I first drove in, but otherwise all the campsites are clear. And I think there's one tent, two trailers. Gorgeous. Went out for a paddle, which was actually kind of a lot of fun because while I was out, I decided I'd get about maybe halfway in the lake. But I could see some storm clouds on the side of the mountains and uh, I don't think it would go any farther. And that was wise because in about five minutes a big gale sort of blew in with rain and anyway I was able to paddle back. So some ice melting here. Now the secret is to do this fast enough not to get one's feet wet. Just step in the boat. And slide to the front. Fog banks just rolling in. There was a little bit of rain as I was getting ready to hit the water. I put on my rain jacket, but actually it looks quite nice. To the west, southwest, I guess. Very nice. Not as much snow up there as I expected. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with this camera, but it is starting to rain now. 
all from that rain cloud that was sort of moving in just over the mountain ridge. So now it's starting to rain and get windy. I think I'm going to get back to shore. It's just starting to get a little blustery. You can see the rain's kind of blowing sideways. There's a nice rainbow right over there. Right over there. And you can't tell from here, but the wind really picked up out there. That's why I didn't go out too far. And it doesn't look that bad, but it was quite stormy coming back. I'm pretty wet. And as you can see, it's raining. Nice that way. Not quite so nice that way, but I think it's going to clear. It's just a shower. So that was a really good example of how weather in the mountains, and we're not even that high up, can change so fast. I was part way out in the lake, and then, as you saw in the previous part of the video, it started to rain a little bit, as it's doing right now. I'm actually just hidden underneath this big cedar tree. And then it got really windy. So windy, like I couldn't keep my hood on because it just kept blowing off as I paddled back. Um, not a worst case scenario here, or the worst case scenario here, I guess, would be I'd be on the other end of the lake until the wind died. But now it's just some light rain and a little bit of a breeze. So it's calmed down considerably. And I think it'll clear up in a few minutes. At least that's what I'm hoping. In the interim, I think I'm just going to explore down the shoreline a little ways here, just along the campsites. And my GoPro is frozen on me once again. <laughs> you can see our our van just over there. Across the log with the ice. Everything's calmed down, no rain, no wind, but I'm still gonna head back. I had a nice dinner, worked really hard on the dinner. You'll see that if you watch that part of the video. But it was pleasant, nice evening, got down to about freezing, didn't rain. So this is something that Mickey and I got a couple years ago at an RV show. Just kind of curious. Green Mountain Firewood. Makes up to two fires, lasts up to five hours. Smokeless, greener, cleaner, hotter. I'm going to give it a try. Fire starter. Just a few little bits of dried wood that was already here. Because I think that'll help on the logs. Probably don't need it. We'll start with that. Okay, a bit of a change of plans. Structured it according to the instructions that are on the inside of the cardboard that it came with. So two logs this way, two logs this way, and then I took the two fire starters and just leaned them against the logs on the inside. This is after five minutes. So it's not that much heat yet, but you can see the flames starting to get a little bit bigger. These uh, pieces of wood remind me of Presto logs. 
I can see there's a little bit of smoke. That could be from some of the other little bits of wood I tossed in, or simply from the fire starter. So this is about 15 minutes. Definitely not smokeless right now, but the flames have kind of gone out. I don't know if I did something wrong. Just followed the instructions. Try putting them a little closer together. I moved the logs a little closer together and they just blew in at once and the flames came back quite well. So I think maybe they're just a little too far apart. Not enough heat between the two. We'll see what it looks like in about 10 minutes. I moved the logs so it'd be better positioned just for some of the wind that's here right now. It's not very strong, but still might help. And you can see I threw just a few little twigs that run the ground in there as well. It's about a half hour. They're not burning as well as I thought they would. They might be something better in a fireplace or maybe in conjunction with some other wood. At least these ones. Maybe, or maybe we just kept them for too long. They're a couple years old, but I would think that that actually might improve them in terms of how well they burn. I don't think we'll buy these ones again. Maybe someone else has had better luck with them and get some ideas how they might work better. And this is at about 45 minutes with having added just some tiny little bits of wood to help it out. Not bad now. I think uh, in my case I would prefer to have a regular fire, but this is pleasant. Okay, my dinner tonight, Chinese food. It was a lot of effort, but I think it's worth it. it definitely looks good. By the fire and by the lake. Beautiful. The logs lasted till about 6.30, so I thought I may as well just burn the rest of them now. It's just beautiful out. Sunset was maybe 30 minutes ago. And I got up this morning I uh, went down to the lake, had a cup of tea, just, it was a beautiful morning, you could still see the moon over, the, I guess, kind of the west. Yeah, it was just nice. And I decided I'd come up here and you'll see in the video it's it's a nice little fitness hike it's not very far I think that the trail is like 3.2 kilometers uh, something in that from from our campsite so a little shorter if you went to the trailhead maybe two and a half I think there's some steeper sections part of its road and then you can come up the trail
Time for micro spikes. The trail's just a sheet of ice all the way up there. We've shown these before in our channel. They're just great for terrain like this. Here's a junction. I'm gonna follow the, <laughs> the go right, but that actually looks more like the regular trail. But I'll just check it out on one of my apps on my phone. This section's much more trail-like rather than the, I'd gone left, it looks more like a road. Lots of big old trees, big old cedars, just beautiful. A couple of hill, hills though, I was panting on a couple sections. First nice view, I may be five minutes from the end of the trail. Just gorgeous. All right, I'm at the summit. Actually, I preferred the view a few minutes ago. In this part, you see a lot more of the development up here. Still pretty. I've paddled right over there, one of our previous videos. It's a beautiful lake to paddle on if it's not too busy. Uh, got up to the top, nice view. Now I'm gonna turn back and head down and try to make a quick drive home hopefully hopefully the traffic's not too bad I doubt it it's gonna be the middle of the day so but it's beautiful here it is a nice place to come this hikes a nice hike to do it's close to most of the campgrounds I think you'd enjoy it and it's just nice to sit by the lake and look at the water so I hope you enjoyed this quick camping trip to Cultus Lake if you did enjoy the video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to seeing you next time.